guys, welcome. I'm Tracy. This is my channel, Tracy from the Mermaid Cove, and I am here continuing on my pantry. I decided that it's too easy. I get close and then I don't follow through. Um, so I thought, no, let's just, we, we have a couple more videos of this and I haven't posted everything yet, um, but it's been a good process. I'm rethinking, um, you know, I've noticed in my videos, I'm always wearing dark blue. <laughs> I, I guess I just been gravitating towards those tops. Um, but yeah, so <clears throat> I'm going to rethink some of the cake mixes because if I'm going to go ahead and give five and get the eggs and the vegetable and the butter, the vegetable oil for, um, the food bank, then I might as well do more. And Gina had asked in a comment, like, do I let people know they're hazardous? Well, you know, people, we all know it's hazardous, right? I don't know. Um, and Joe had always said to me, don't worry about getting organic or this or that. I need to feed people and I'd rather have something that's less expensive and get more. That's a reality for so many people in this country. And um, yeah, so it's just, and I do think it's a personal journey and you know, I know Beverly's already sick to death of me talking about it, but I've just begun. So she gotta buckle up <laughs> because it's just hit me in a different way than before. And um, being realistic and uh, yeah, and bumps, bumps are good. I'm gonna get down, get back up, wipe off my skin knee, my skin toe. Y'all, I have some weird, cut myself in my stomach, have a bruise, have zero idea how that happened. I don't know, just move on. So this is stuff um, that's like baking stuff, that kind of thing, um, cooking stuff. I don't know, honestly, I don't know. It's a hot mess. So let's get started and again, Anything expired, I'm donating. If it's not open, if it's open, I'm letting it go. I'm not putting expired food. I know like you can go, like if I had a chicken and rice and it's a couple months, that's fine. But for what I'm going through right now, I'm not keeping it. So this is cake flour, bought it with the best of intentions to make my own cakes, never used it. It's about six months expired. I'm passing that on to the food bank. And this one is a new one. This expired in April, but you know what? I'm gonna let it go. Let somebody else, don't know if they can use it or not, but um, you know, I let Joe decide all that. She always said, just bring me no matter what and I'll decide. Okay, so moving, and I do have flour, I have pure cane sugar and I have powdered sugar. Not throwing them out, not replacing them. I have them for right now, and I'm gonna go from there. So I have sugar in the raw, which I like to put on top of things. So I'm gonna keep that. This is new. That's a key. Y'all, I'm gonna let this go. Can you imagine? A little break, because I had to take a picture. So we have Crisco, shortening sticks, y'all naturally and artificially flavored. Mm -hmm. Super natural, used instead of butter or margarine. Honestly, I don't know. This is something my mom would always have occasionally because she thought, you know, it worked well. It's not expired. I'm gonna pass this on to the food bank. Um. And then maybe you can go with the cake mixes. So I'm gonna set that aside, but y'all, there's certain things, y'all, my hair is driving me nuts because I let it walk, dry naturally and headed out to my eye doctor. I have a story to tell you about the big lots. So I'll do that separately, y'all. Okay, where are we? So I have pure baking soda. Um, that's good to 2025, we're gonna keep that. This is brown sugar, I should have put a date on it. I don't know. I'm gonna let that inside go. It feels dry. And I have light. I see. I made. I got this stuff for cookies and did not make cookies this year for Christmas. Um. So that's good to October. Good to October. So I'm gonna let one go. Some great value powdered sugar. Sugar and cornstarch, okay. Is that what powdered sugar is? I know that. Um, 
I didn't even see a date. Here we are. Um, till next year, so I'm gonna hang on to that. So we have another brown sugar, y'all. I was really hopeful. I'm gonna let that go to the food bank. But see, y'all, I cannot put this in my garage or my car. So it's gotta, maybe Friday I'll go to the food bank. So I have this Swerve Ultimate Sugar Replacement. Um, yeah, hold on. Okay, it was giving it a 78. Um, Non-GMO. It's good till, well, it's past its date. Confectioners, I guess I'll hang on to it. Um, do, I gotta deep dive all that more. Most of these things I don't like, so um, I got some baking powder. Good to next year, so I'll keep that. Cornstarch. That is expired. So I'm gonna go ahead and replace it. Don't know if I need it. Do I need it? I don't know. I'll check it on Yucca, but I'm gonna let that go. Anything expired. So here's Swerve Brown Sugar Replacement. It says um, erythritol, prebiotic, something or other, vegetable, glycerin, fruit juice, concentrate for color. That's good. And natural flavors. Y'all, I don't know. This is Aluo Sweetener Blend. Zero calorie, versatile, one-to-one -one sugar substitute. Um... So I'll check on that. That's from Trader Joe's. I'm gonna hang on to it. These things usually hurt my stomach. This is this thing. I should clean this out. This is my little, you put the, um, when you're using powdered sugar on top of something, that might need to be clean. We done. These are just randomly shoved somewhere. So I love these things. Gonna be on my, one of my rotating things. So that I'm keeping. These were another package of these. So they came in that thing, the baton thing. Take them to work. So you guys love these things. Um, didn't really use much of them, did I? So I am not sure. They're good to next year. Hold on. <sighs> Big old five. Anyway, so you put this on top of things like cookies or hot chocolate. I don't know, you guys. I think they're all open, so yeah. I can't let them up. Why can't I let them go? Because they're in this cute little thing. I could throw it out and use a cute little thing. Is that it? Is that my problem? Probably. Obviously, I haven't been hot for them. I haven't even used them. But they're so cute. Anyway, for now, I'm not going to rush and put them on anything. Okay. Stop it. My drink keeps wanting to spill. My iced coffee, I had to add more coffee to. Did not think I had kosher salt. Beverly, I have kosher salt. So I don't need her to bring me any or give me any. Um... I can't imagine this doesn't go bad quickly, right? Why is it so hard to find expiration dates, y'all? I do not understand. I mean, it's a law, right? I don't know. I think it's like, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, it's not opened. I'm keeping it. Um, Morton salt. No wonder I couldn't find my salts. Um, I don't know. I have to scan it. I, I don't know, but salt. I have potato starch, so I will be keeping that. Still good through the year. I have sweet rice flour, because I want to make mochi on my own. Back at sweet, mm-hmm, Coda Farms. So look at this, short grain sweet rice flour. That's it. So, I can make my own mochi. 
and give up those things to, from Trader Joe's. So anyway, not one, but two. I think I got them on Amazon. I was desperate to make something. Not that desperate, apparently. I've got Wondra. My mom always had this. So I don't think I opened it. So I think I'll pass it on. I don't think I'll be delayed putting a flour in things, right? I'm sure there's substitutes for that. We got panko. I'm pretty sure it's gluten. Yeah. Not open, so I'm gonna go ahead and donate this. These are my good ginger. Love this stuff from Trader Joe's. Um, sprinkle it in anything, drink, um, soup, stir fries, love that. It's a great seasoning for me. Then we have some nuts. I love these Fishers to put on top of ice cream, y'all. And desperate to find them and then forgot about them. Quite honestly, just because I don't know, I have too much. So this is good this year. I didn't try them. I'm going to pass them on. You know, I don't know. I'm going to keep it for now, y'all. There's all kinds of oil in here. No, I'm going to let it go. If I'm desperate for it, I'll buy a new one. Y'all, best penis. You can't beat the Joes. So I got some unsalted dry toasted pecan pieces. Now I wouldn't just sit down and eat these, but to put them in things, a lot of this is probably gonna have to go. Um, these are cashews from Giant. I don't see the date, but you know, yeah, ooh. I think I'll feed them to the squirrely squirrels. Got macadamia. That, I mean, they're not open, but they're expired. And I told myself, you're gonna share, so I'm gonna let that go. It's not open and it's expired. Somebody might use it now. So this I'm gonna keep, um, it's good. I like, you know, there's a lot of things you can use almonds in. I got some raisins. I was making my own little thing. It's good till November. I just don't like them cooked. I don't. I have golden berry blend. So this is a um, blend of cranberries, blueberries, cherries with golden raisins. Golden raisins are not my favorite, y'all, but I'm gonna keep them. Trader Joe's are open. Honey roasted peanuts. Um, vegetable oil, sunflower oil, so, and xanthan gum. Again, I might feed them to my squirrels. See, why am I over buying nuts? And then, well, I will say this year, I thought I would like these um, cookies that are with uh, macadamias, but I just didn't do it. So just buying one or two of something. Again, these are macadamias. Uh, I'm gonna keep them and eat them. Okay, where are we time-wise? I'm trying not to make these too long, y'all. Um, so I have this other big thing. So here we go, y'all. Unopened canola oil. Wesson. <sighs> Donate. So my ginger. This is an emergency Gatorade. Don't like Gatorade. Can imagine if I didn't feel good, I would not want to be drinking Gatorade, right? I mean, a ginger ale would be much better. I thought, well, if I'm really sick, I can get my electrolytes. Letting that go. Sweet and condensed milk. I think this is pretty new. Milk and sugar, y'all. Milk and sugar. I have some distilled white vinegar. I gotta step up my vinegar game. 
I have a Modern Pantry Whole Milk. This is from Dollar Tree. Milk and Vitamin D. So this is like an emergency milk. It's good to the end of the year. So if I feel like I need a milk, I don't have a milk kind of thing. I got some diced mango, so I can make something with that. I love these things on strawberries, but that is terrible. Sugar vegetable oil, hydronate, hydronated palm kernel oil. Something called Sordaban Tristerate. Doesn't sound like, uh, okay. Love these. This is the best thing to dip. Well, it tastes good with strawberries. Won't be buying that again. I got my raspberry preserves, my backup. This is my favorite. Grandmaman. Bon Mon. Bon Mon. I always say Grandma Mon. So let's see what do we have. Raspberry sugar, brown cane sugar, concentrated lemon juice, fruit pectin. That's it, y'all. Another is the evaporated milk, which I guess you could also use. Good to the end of the year. If you needed milk. Chunk pineapples and pineapple juice. I just bought slices. I did not know where my, I thought I had pineapple, y'all. So that's going to be, you know, I love, I'm going to put that in the um, sheet pan. And here are the slices. So I just bought one. Which I can keep. Um, and use this one. It's probably got a shorter date on it. Yeah. So I'll use that one today. Because I'm going to do chicken legs and this Hawaiian um, pineapple sweet and sour kind of um, barbecue sauce from Trader Joe's. That will end it up, right? I'm probably going to have to make my own, I think. Apple cider vinegar. Looks like it's seen better days. So I'm going to let that go. 2021, y'all. Get one with the mother. That's right, y'all. I know about the mother. You need your apple cider with the mother in it. So I'm going to let that go and get a mother. So this is espresso coffee. And really, it's to make stuff for my... It's to make coffee just dip paper in. So I'm going to be doing some of that for my next project. So I'm going to keep that. All right, so here's my molasses. I love molasses cookies, y'all. I make really good molasses cookies with so does Trader Joe's. Um, unsulfurated. So this is some, This is on my list. You know, one other, it's from 2022. Not been open. Y'all, what do you think? I told myself it's expired a month ago. So I'll have to get another one. I can't be making promises and... Okay, so we have, uh, ooh, apple cider vinegar with the mother. I think I got this at the Dollar Tree, y'all. So I'm not sure the date on it, but I'm really sure this stuff doesn't go terrible. So got that. Jello, unflavored Jello. I, I, there was something I wanted to make. I can only imagine, y'all. Hmm. I don't know. Let it go. Peach Jello. I'm gonna let it go. Um, so this is a lemon fruit fine cut marmalade. That sounds yummy. Um, yeah, made in England. I'm gonna keep that. Baker's Joy. Now I know Bobby Bobby Parish from Flav City, not Bobby Flav. Doesn't approve of this, um, but for now I'm keeping it not been opened. I'll throw my other one away. This is uh, some kind of vintage cooking wine sherry. I think I bought some for um, Michelle and we shared it. So I'll keep that in case I need it. So this is the best you can get in canola oil. It's organic canola oil expeller pressed. I'm sure Bobby wouldn't like it either. But I'm going to keep this one since I let the other one go and I need a little bit for now till I'm weaned off. Y'all, and this is this fabulous stuff with a little water. I bet it goes an ice drink too. Um, 
So it's got um, sliced citron, ginger, sundry honey, sugar, citric acid. It's got carrageenan. Why? Why does it have carrageenan? I, I see. I can't let go. How am I gonna? For now. Jeez, look. see, I would have never thought that had something in it. Why? I don't know, because it's wishful thinking, maybe you say. Mm -hmm. All right, where are we? Well, I think I'm going to wrap it up with this episode of decluttering. I think I'll just have one more before we do spices, before we do my cabinet with like honey and oils and that kind of thing. I'm not going to start that today, but I'd like to finish the pantry. So yeah, you guys, it's, um, it's an education. And then... Why am I not immediately just putting this right in the pile? Like, don't, Care Jean, you're not having that. <sighs> but yet, but I just literally got this. Um, let's get to the end of the year. I don't know. For now, I can only cope with some, my brain's like. But yeah, I'm glad that some of you are definitely inspired. That's awesome. It makes me feel good that I'm not in this alone. And I know some people it's easier than other people. Mary Rock, she's just like, no sugar, done. She was done. She wanted to feel good, she did it. Um, you know, other people like me are struggling and, um, you know, slowly wanting to change, but not like Gina, like we're just gonna go through a bunch of food out. What's good for me is I have the food bank and I know people are gonna consume this food and they're gonna assume it quickly where it could just literally sit in my pantry. But like most Americans, unfortunately, that's not what I aspire to be is like most Americans. Um, I, there's a food insecurity. And I have never, well, I mean, I'm trying to think, I never really went without food. I didn't grow up during wartime. I'd say there's a time when my mom and I were really broke, but still we managed to eat. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what this is. Just if it's one part of a whole, thing of making me feel grounded and safe and okay because I have all these choices, these options. I mean, it's impulsivity. I am a product of the um, big food companies. That's They spend lots of money to get my money and they, they get it. And they don't give a crap about my health, that's for sure. And then their good friends, Big Pharma, can make money from me because I need pills. I need blood pressure medicine, or I need this, or I need that. The other thing we haven't talked about yet, which we're going to deep dive soon, is microwaves. My good friend Judy, she can't use microwave, and she won't because it affected her thyroid. So, not today, though. Not today. All right, guys, I'll be back probably with my last pantry thing. And... Then I get it all tidied up and let you see, and it makes me happy just seeing it. And yeah, and then I'll I'll show you the cooks kind of app, um, and when I'm going to inventory everything again, but not this week. That will be another day. I mean, I enjoy doing that, but it takes time consuming. I have other stuff I'd like to accomplish today also. So, all right, guys, thank you. Keep the comments coming. I'm going to be as honest as I can in the struggle. Um. And really freaking myself out, you know. But I'm letting a lot go again. So, all right, guys, I'll see you on the other side with maybe my last thing from my pantry is to declutter. <laughs>